guys how many of you worked on rebate management in the ecc system if you already worked on it you will find the significant changes in the s4 hana in process point of view as well as the configuration point of view rebate management is now a part of settlement management in the s4 hana and it is completely a transaction independent program that combines the bits and pieces of the sd configuration like pricing revenue determination tax gl determination ta partner determination tax determination output determination etc by working on this you will improve the knowledge on the sd basic functions so let's get into the process execution without any delay as part of the session we can go through the overview rebate scenarios sales rebate process key takeaways as i mentioned settlement management is a comprehensive and flexible s4 hana solution okay that can cover the sales rebate functionality external commissions employee commissions and incentives as well as the settlement of royalties coming to this rebate scenarios okay so unlike in the ecs system we can find eight number of series in the s4 hana system one is sales rebate sales rebate goods related with two step goods related two steps multiple customers goods related multiple customers goods related with multiple customers with two step and multiple customers with two step okay these are the scenarios we can run in the s4 hana system so and the process flow looks like we create a condition contract like we create a condition agreement in the ecs system okay then we have to input the key factors that are involved to bring the business volume okay like example we have to consider the business volume of the sales organization as well as the customer based upon that the condition contract can bring up that information from the sales invoices that are performed in the s4 hana system okay the steps like you have to create a condition contract then you can create a sales transactions for those customers then monitor the business volume by running some reports once this condition contract is eligible for the settlement you can settle the rebate from the other transaction codes condition contract so how do you maintain in the s4 hana system so i am going to create the condition contract in the s4 hana system okay we used to use the transaction code vb01 in the ecs system whereas in the s4 hana system we have to use the transaction code wcoco here click on new entries okay select the 0s01 condition contract type okay we can see that the 0a series stands for the sales rebate functionality okay starting from 0s01 till 0s z4 for time being i am running the transaction for the sales rebate okay with single customer here we have to enter the validity periods okay let me enter the validity period uh 0409 2023 till 0509 2023 i just enter the customer code here for whom i am running the you know condition contract for the sales rebate then i have to click on sales tab then i have to input the sales area to under which the customer exist then business volume selection criteria in which we have to define the key factors considered for the business volume selection for for time being i'll choose the sales organization 1500 okay and then i have to choose the customer code okay the customer code is nothing but the same which you have entered in the above screen okay so here 
we have to enter the customer because unless you enter the customer code system consider the business volume of all other customers as part of this customer condition contract okay then go to the settlement calendar in which we have to define the you know settlement dates okay so as you can see here we have four different settlement processes one is final settlement second partial settlement third delta settlement as well as the delta accrual so here for time being we can see the partial settlement as well as the final settlement for which i input the date today's date as a partial settlement system gives you an error we can ignore it for time being and then select final settlement date as 5 for tomorrow okay enter okay so now there is no error because the final settlement date is entered okay then i minimize it and i go for the no condition tables as you can see here there are number of condition tables you can make use of them as per the business need for time being i select 4 a b then i click a new line here we have to choose the condition type okay re s1 is for the rebate percentage determination select it enter it once it is entered then select it and click on scales in which we have to define the rebate percentage okay so i enter one percentage then i have to enter the business volume here okay the business volume either could be a, a value of the transactions or the quantity of the transaction so that is purely based on the business need okay so for time being i am running the sales rebate functionality on the you know business volume i just enter the volume of 10000 indian rupees okay okay if the customer reaches this business volume then system starts calculating the one percent of reach uh, you know or rebate on top of his complete transactions okay then you have to click on this flag button to release the condition contract for further calculation then click on save button once it is saved system gives you a number for the condition contract so it is 53 right sales transactions okay once the condition contract setup is completed you can create a few uh, sales transactions like invoices credit memo request debit memo request sale return so whatever the scenario that you have in the business need okay you have to run those transactions and you have to check the settlement monitor okay then these invoice figures will be displayed over there okay so let me create a few transactions and see the results i am executing a few sales transactions okay as we can see here so there is no any rebate condition exists in the sales transaction as i mentioned this is a completely transaction independent functionality so i am creating a delivery and i enter the post goods issue then i'll go for the billing i save it so we can find the business volume transaction codes under logistics then settlement management here we have condition contract management then settlement customer then we have environment reporting here we have a transaction code wb2r underscore bus vol this is to check the business volume of a condition contract execute it and enter the condition contract code here then execute it 
so as we can see on the screen so system is able to find the business volume of the condition contract for the partial settlement as on 4th 9th 2023 okay if you make the transactions for the 5th 9 2023 that will be visible under this okay so let me create one more transaction of the future date po2 deliver post goods issue then i create the invoice here okay so let me change the date into future 5 9 2023 then i'll save it okay it is created now wb2r underscore busvol here enter the condition contract then execute it as you can see now system is able to determine the business volume for the final settlement okay one transaction is created in the current date and the second transaction is created in the future date okay so future date that is 5th 9 2023 so system has considered that volume into the next date okay so this is how we can check the business volume of the condition contract against a particular customer okay let me try to settle the amount here okay then rebate settlement in order to settle the rebate we have to execute the transaction wb2r underscore sc okay here you have to click here and enter the condition contract and the settlement date if it is a partial settlement enter the partial settlement date if it is a final settlement then you have to enter the final settlement date so let me enter the today's date okay so if you scroll down a bit you can see there's a run type okay so here you can either run in simulation mode you can run in the check run as well as you can run in the live run so let me run in the check uh, run to see if there are any issues exist so as you can see system says that the condition settlement process and there's a error occurred see system says that the tax code via price determination cannot be determined check customization okay so due to which i am unable to post the settlement okay let me resolve this issue and show you the results of it now i have resolved the issue in the background okay let me run and see the results of it okay so as you can see now we are able to run the transaction successfully okay so now we are in a uh, you know uh, simulation mode only let me set it to live run okay i've just selected live run and i am executing it let me see what happens okay as you can see system is now able to post a real time transaction since we have set the live run process there okay execute it we can see that the document has been processed with the number 33 as a settlement document here let me show you the document number see this is how the transaction look like so once the condition contract settlement is completed then that will be show you showed under the tree structure in which you can find the net amount which is supposed to be settled to the customer that is 126 as part of the settlement management in the partial settlement okay select it and check for the customer entries so so far as we can see in the uh, rebate volume program we have seen the value 12600 for the partial settlement on which the rebate has been calculated for the one percent and it arrived at 126 rupees as a rebate amount okay let me see the other uh, uh, final entry okay wb2r underscore sc again you have to run it for the final settlement okay hardly you have to use three transaction codes 
one is condition contract that is COCO, the other one is WB2R underscore BUS VOL to check the business volume of a condition contract and the third one is settlement program that is WB2R underscore SC. So let me select the final settlement date here and I'll check in simulation mode and it says this uh, you know simulation mode is running successfully. Let me remove it and uh, run the live session now. Yes, it is live run. Let us post it. So once you have run it, system has said that it is a successfully run, right? Now check the document of it. So as you can see here, system has considered the rebate base volume here. On top of it, system has considered the one party uh, one percent of amount as two hundred and fifty two. Then it has been settled. Okay. So there's a question, right? So since we can see that it is 252, right? But why it is still getting settled for the 126? So because the parcel settlement is already completed, out of which system is considering the value which is 126 as a final settlement. Okay. So if at all you want to see the condition accounting entry, just come back from here, click on accounting button and you will find the customer account and the rebate account. Okay, so we can see that 126 and 126. So this is how we can run the rebate process in the s hana system with the three simple transaction codes. Sure. Uh, key takeaways. Okay. So here we can see the main four things. Okay. One is classic rebate management. Okay. The classic rebate management in the S4HANA system is no longer by executing the transaction VBO1. So as a replacement, we have to run the transaction WCOCO in which select 0S01 as a, uh, you know, a classic rebate management. Okay. The second thing is rebate scenarios. Okay, sales rebate scenario can now run in different ways. As we have seen, there are eight scenarios we can execute it in the S4 HANA system. Okay, and the third one is scenario execution. It is very simple step which you can do in a three different steps. One is you have to create a condition contract, then check the rebate volume, business volume, as well as then settlement okay there are hardly three transaction codes which you have to execute and perform the settlement and the fourth thing is fear end of workflow okay you can run the complete functionality in the s hana fear applications either okay along with the workflow so as we can see in the s hana system now sap has given the flexible workflow functionality which can also be enabled for the condition contract as well as the settlement functionality. So this is all guys. So I'll be back with the another video on the sales rebate with multiple customers.